Hello everybody and welcome to Autobox Plays Long Dark. Yeah, in the last episode we managed to make it to the coastal town site from Yeah, Desolation Point. We got out of there, etc. etc. That sort of deal. Now this is a new day, new recording. Um and basically what's going on is that we I would do anything for a drink right now. Yeah, we're in the coastal house. And he is parched, so we're just gonna handle a bit of the small time maintenance. That's what's going on, and that sort of deal. Mm. Yeah, chuck some water. Actually, wait. Chuck some coffee. And then chuck some water. Alright, cool. Now, let's see, what else do we have to do? So we're rested, we're a bit peckish, but that's not the end of the world. If anything, um... We don't necessarily need to do too much right now, at least nothing that's too immediate. One of the things I know we should do is we should probably go out into the other um, areas and explore the, the rest of the houses. So we have about three hours of daylight left. Yeah, um, we had to sleep during the middle of the day, so that's why we're so tired. Alright, there we are. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Can we get in here? Metal box? Anything? No. Alright, so we're in this coastal township. Our town site. And... Okay, so... There's this area. Let's take a look in the car. See what we got going on. Hello, car. Nothing in the back seat, at least not that I can see. Going to the front. You got some matches? Anything in here? No. I mean, it doesn't hurt to check the visors, I suppose, <laughs> even though I don't really expect anything to be there. So yeah, let's go from there, and I guess this is a garage. Let's check out the garage, and there are, there's a house there, there's a house there, and there's a car there. So we're definitely going to be checking out everything that's in this particular spot, because there's no reason not to, this, um, because this is just a lot of like free junk that we're picking up. And... Yeah, so this is the Quonsite Garage. So we got some sodas. Close that fridge up. You never want to leave your fridge open. That'd be bad. Even if it's um, like dark and shit. Gotta go from the other side. And how are we doing actually on Tinder? Um, uh, probably very poorly because we don't have an account. But, for real though, how are we doing on Tinder? Actually, no, we're fine. We are fine. This is fine. So I got a sewing kit. Dope. A tin of sardines. Now we should probably take a little peek see around here. Anything? I guess it would be a little strange to find like, Oh, you found a candy bar in the register. It means someone's been stealing shit. Behind the manager's back, how fucking could you? You were trusted employees, and you so... This stuff will come in handy. Urban parka. Long, heavy down coat, more suitable for urban survivalists, but the long length might keep your kidneys warm. Sure. Never actually seen that, so it might be good. Hey, fuck yeah, we got some long johns, so we can totally replace our... Our thermal underwear, because long johns are superior, yeah, in like in every way. So we got a bedroll, and that means that if we really need to, we can actually stay in this particular spot. We can't harvest anything from. No, 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not desperate enough for water for that right now. No, thank you. Even though we are in a survival situation, we can we're we're not that desperate. So we'll hold off on that for now. Holy shit, we actually have a workbench. If anything, this might be a good place to set up shop for a while, just because of the fact 
There's a workbench here. Um, the lighthouse. Hope nobody needs what? this anymore. Sure, it actually allows us to get rid of our other stuff. Um, our other crowbar. Good stuff. In any case, if we're gonna stay here, we don't need to carry all this junk. So we'll drop these. And apologize. I, I apologize if you guys can hear like the um, loud drilling. Not drilling. Um, there's a chainsaw outside. So that's what's that go is going on. So apologies for that. Yo, we have a lot of food now. Holy shit! And you weigh one kilo. We'll eat you. And we'll drink this. But for real though, uh, if we're gonna, st yeah, if we're staying here, I can drop a lot of this heavy junk. So let me do that really quickly. Drop that. Uh, that's. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna stay here, so we can drop all this, drop all that, drop all these sticks. All right, now we can actually move around comfortably. But yeah, basically, right now is gonna be. Digging around time. I think I can use this. Holy shit. We're getting so much stuff. Actually, I already checked that. There we go. One more. It's starting to weigh me down. Yeah, I can see that. Or at least I'm not surprised. We got another motherfucking hacksaw? This place has everything! I mean, I guess that's not surprising just because of the fact that this is a garage. A book. A radio. Yeah, let's. What have we here? A plaid shirt. I mean, it's. One in Rome, I Well, one in Canada, I suppose you have to take your flannel out. gloves no no if you could give me a gun that'd be sick I know I see that rifle cartridge could end up being useful it could but I doubt we all actually wear it oh a rifle cartridge for the gun we don't have please give me a gun I would appreciate that I would love to have a rifle and why is the rifle the only thing in this area who the fuck keeps the soda in, in their cabinet? Okay. Canadians are strange. Just a bunch of newsprints. And some sodas. People really like their soda here. Like, seriously like their soda. a fire barrel next to us? Yeah, we can make a fire here. And we have a bed. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, okay. Sweet. Well, yeah, we can make a fire here, set up all our stuff, and there's some quality tools in a book. Yeah, this is perfect. We can definitely set up shop here. Considering that, drop that. Drop that, drop that. Uh, drop all this extra shit. So, drop, 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 drop. And, what doesn't have a check? Drop. Do, drop that. And, there we go. We'll pick up all that stuff later. We have a whole bunch of inventory management to do in these next coming episodes. Well, next coming episode. Ugh. Okay. We still have an hour of daylight left, so that means we can totally go around and look for shit. The ambient sound, I can't tell if that's legit, like, just straight ambient sound, or if there's, like, a wolf nearby. 
At least we know that we are relatively safe from like the environment. Our um like our warmth bonus is enough to keep us like pretty damn comfortable. Which is great! That's exactly what we would have wanted. So that we uh, that way if we are forced to stay outside, then we won't freeze to death. I remember in my last playthrough I got completely fucked because I was kind of an idiot and didn't prioritize making my clothes as dope as they possibly could get. Alright, it's this way for some reason. Hey, a newspaper roll, I guess. Eventually you're never gonna you're not gonna need Tinder. Just because you like if you get your campfire skill high enough, or your like your fire starting skill high enough, you don't even need Tinder. It becomes like flint in Don't Starve, where you don't even like eventually you're just gonna be making your shit out of gold anyway. So like, what's the point of having all this flint if you're gonna if you're not gonna make like if, if its only purpose is to make tools? Oh, this will we come in handy. Yeah. This this is the scavenge episode. Just getting all this shit. And then outfitting ourselves to leave this place. People here love their soda. This gear is starting to slow me down. Yeah, I'm not surprised because it's just you're carrying like almost like five kilos worth of soda. Man, I learned that lesson the hard way. Don't ever get attracted to the the sweet taste of a nice bubbly carbonated drink on your th going down your throat cuz yeah you, you can like get diabetes etc etc and anyway why the fuck are we talking about this let's just focus on the game focus on the here and now and what we're doing right now is again just scavenging i'm trying to make this sound exciting but this is honestly kind of like just standard fare. At least, come, at least in my experience in the long dark, there's not root. Whenever you get to like some sort of civilization, you're like, oh, okay, let's just dig around and see what we can find. Um, granted, most of this, it feels like it's RNG because we still haven't found a fucking gun yet. Okay, I'm mad about that gun. Give me that herbal tea. Close this damn microwave. I want my gun. Please, game. Just give me a gun. Alrighty. Fuck. Nothing here. I know it's dark, but I don't necessarily feel like this. turning stuff on. t-shirt. Nope, no driving gloves, because those are not so good. Okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Nope. Uh, no, nothing here. More soda. Why am I not surprised? And doesn't another soda in the ba in the bathroom? Why? Who drinks soda in the tub? That'll come in handy. This is a very strange, strange place. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. Most of this is just gonna be probably done in the dark, because there are there are some things I can harvest to get wood. Um, I actually end up burning some of that, and then after that, just like start repairing, crafting, that sort of stuff. Okay, that kind of scared me. I thought, th thought that mailbox was a wolf for a second. Alright, now to walk back to this place. I'll, I'll explore that house in a bit. I just want to make sure that's we can kind of just dump everything we got and then like take stock at that point 
And come way back here. The ambient sound, uh, like, I can't tell if that's just amp, like, like, legit ambient sound, or if that's actually, like, animals. That's just a fucking one pound buck. Alrighty, so more clothes to dump off. I know I don't necessarily need to carry a lot of the clothes that I'm taking back. It's just, I want to make it so that, boy, they're all in one spot so I can harvest them. I'll pick all these up in a bit. This is just so much soda. Like, so much soda. Yeah, most of our pack is just filled with soda. Here, eat this. All right, there we go. That's all the fucking food we were, we were carrying. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Yeah, we're feeling like it's 24. So why not just explore during the night? If The only problem about exploring during the night is that you all can't really see too much. I mean, I'm looking at the recording right now, and it's... It, you can still kind of see stuff. It's not that bad. Alrighty. So we're gonna check out the car. Oh goodness, I can't see shit. So I read in the patch notes that they actually lowered the lens flare off from the lantern, and that's probably more soda. <coughs> ah, excuse me. It's a good thing, just because of the fact that the lens, like, it was so bright just having this thing open. Not that that sneeze out, holy shit. I'm looking at it and it's like clipping so hard. I'm looking at the audacity recording. Alrighty. What's in here? Some more matches. New location. Just another coastal house. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Oh yeah, this is totally fine. It's only at 60. Some salty crackers. We have so much soda. You guys can hear like the controller click really hard. Anything in here? No. Okay. Another lantern. I don't really feel like taking that back. This will come in handy. Yes, that's good. Nah. Other shoes. I can use this. Sure. Okay. Actually, let me take this. I want to see how well it can do. This stuff will come in handy. Old fashioned parka. Yep. Tiny shower. Like, this guy's head hits all the way up to here. I remember when I used to live in Tucson, I had a shower that was probably about this big. Well, if you were to connect this tile to that, like, you would just stand in one spot and then just take a shower. It was really tiny. Granted, the shower, like, I, I lived in a two, a, a two, two floor casita style studio, 
So basically, like, there's a kitchen. It was all more or less one room connected to a, by, via stairwell. And then from the stairwell, like, there, the bathroom and the bedroom were in this, in, like, the same spot. Which, in all honesty, sounds really awkward. And, I don't know, I got used to it because I lived there for, like, two years. But it was it was it was always awkward having guests over. Mostly because if anyone needed to pee or like take a poop, then you kind of needed to like air that shit out before, because like someone would stink up the top floor, and that's where everyone would sit because it'd be awkward to sit down in the kitchen. It was a weird. It was an interesting time. I can barely walk with this much gear. Uh huh. We can actually see stuff. So. Let's see. Can we harvest anything besides these? No, I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything. No, not really. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I am going to end the episode now, and in the in-between period, I think I will be managing all this stuff look at all that and we have more we have more soda and yeah we're gonna have to like manage the crap out of this because there's just so much stuff go here drop this you can drop down as well because you need to dry anyway and yeah, more more managing. So I'll do that in the in between. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next long dark episode. See you then.